Okay, I'm back. Uh, what we have here is a uh, is a screw cell multiplied times three. So I got three three sets of screw cells. Uh, these are all wired in series. So I've got a total of about uh, 13 volts applied end to end, and across each cell is about. I'm gonna have to measure it right now. I got it configured to do amps. The entire the entire arrangement is drawing uh, 7.24 amps. Uh, across the entire uh, the, the three cells, uh, each cell is dropping about four and a half, almost five volts. Maybe not five volts. Let's see. It's going to be one third of um, twelve point five, uh, just over four volts per cell. And we're drawing seven amps through it. And this is the output that I have right now. As you can tell, I've got to do some. I need to do some tweaking to get that get the amps to come up and to get the uh, the flow to come up. But uh, that's basically the current cell. And uh, yeah, this is what it this is what it looks like. Well, you probably can't hear that, but you know. One of the things that I went the reason why I went with three cells is I'm trying to figure out a, a, a relatively simple way to manage the heat that's generated. Uh, dropping the voltage across each cell seems it does well for uh, minimizing how much heat is generated but it uh, it also because uh, because of the extra resistance it, it's actually causing my current draw to run to run low if one of these cells right now if one of these cells was wired up in series or wired up by itself on the same supply it would probably be drawn in the gen in the neighborhood of 20 25 amps by itself, and that's uh, I haven't found I haven't found the magic combination yet where where I'm happy with with the amount of heat that's generated against the amount of flow that's being generated. All right, so that's uh, that's it for now, and I thank you very much for your thanks for watching my videos, and take care.